How's it going all of you amazing YouTubers? Welcome to my life in the Land. I'm Jenny Marie and today we're going to be doing a free SO fix. So I showed you how to install free SO and if you don't know how to do that, make sure to click the link in the description below and it will take you to how to download free sims online. And I never really showed you how to fix it if a problem does occur. I am not an expert at fixing stuff, but I will try to the best of my abilities to help you out. So the first ever thing that the first ever fix that you ever need to do is is very simple. All you need to do is right click the program and click run as an administrator. And nine times out of ten this will fix it if the program doesn't want to run or crashes and whatnot. I usually would say that it needs an administrator and it would run. So I clicked it so shortly the game should be loading up. Alright, so free sims so has booted up, so you can see that it's right here, and all I need to do is log in and put in my password, so that's fix number one, and obviously here it means that it'll update on its own. If not, then you can just go ahead and click the link in the description below on when um, the download, and then you can reinstall it if you have any problems. So the second method is very, very simple. All you need to go is to OSC on your drive and basically uninstall and reinstall the Sims Free SO. So you go to OS and then you go to Program Files. You go all the way down to Maxis and then the Sims Online. And basically you, un you basically delete all of these files and uninstall everything. And that should give you a clean slate. And then you click the link of the description below, which basically takes you how to install FreeSO and you basically reinstall everything. So the third and last method is to basically enable the .NET framework. You're going to have to go to control panel, programs, and program features, and then you're going to basically, you're going to go to pro control panel, and in the programs you have to go to uninstall or change a program. And then you're on the left hand side, it should say turn windows features on and off, you're going to click that, and then here it should be ticked off. And if this program is ticked off, you're going to go ahead and click it, it's ticked on, and then you're going to click OK. Since I already have it ticked on, I really don't need to change it. But anyway, those are my three methods on how to fix free SO. If none of those work, I'm going to link, uh, link obviously, in the description below of this video for a fourth method that was in the forums of the freeso.org. And if none of those work, I apologize in advance. I am so, so sorry if it doesn't work for you. Sometimes the servers can crash as well. If there's a lot of people playing on the servers, it could crash potentially. Um, sometimes it could be the problem with the computer or it just bad luck i guess because i've had a lot of trouble installing this game onto my old computer but on my alienware alpha it seems to work just fine also you have to make sure that you have a legit copy of windows 10 on your computer that you're able to run it on a legit copy but even even then i don't know how to really help and fix it but hopefully i did sort of fix your problems if not i do apologize in advance thank you so much for watching make sure to click that thumbs up on this video if it did work for you and it did help you somewhat it will help a lot for me and for other people to see this video but yeah have a fantastic day and i will catch you all on the next one bye